If you plan on doing any kind of freelance design work online, you're going to need a way to sign documents. Oftentimes a potential client will send you a non-disclosure agreement or a traditional contract and request that you sign that document and return it to them. And printing out the document and then signing it by hand and returning it back to them is very time consuming and inefficient. It's actually a much better way to go about this. And today I'm going to show you how to create your own digital signature using Inkscape and GIMP. So the first thing you'll want to do is grab a blank piece of paper and draw out your signature, your own personal signature on that piece of paper and take a picture of it similar to what I've done here. As you can see I've taken a piece of paper, I've drawn out a um, this is just a signature, this isn't my signature, I just wrote SIG for the sake of this tutorial. And once you draw it out, go back over it with either the pen or the pencil and thicken up all of the lines because the, the method we're going to use to create this digital file, uh, it, it's going to require that these lines are very distinct. Okay, so what you could do is you could take a picture of your signature on the piece of paper and you could email it to yourself and then download it to your desktop or any other folder where you could easily access it. And the first thing we'll do is open this thing up with GIMP. So I'm going to close that out. And I'm going to right click this. I'm going to go to open with GIMP. And then once GIMP opens, what we're going to do is we're going to go to color and we'll go to threshold. Click on threshold and that's going to separate everything into either black or white. And what we could do now is we could just click OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to invert it. We're going to go to color. And we're going to invert that. And then we're going to go to file. And we're going to export as. And I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Because that's where I could easily access it. And I'm going to export this as a PNG file. Inkscape tends to like PNG files a lot better than JPEG. So I'm going to export that as a PNG. Just click export, and there we go. We can close out of that. This card changes. We don't need that anymore. And there we have our inverted black and white signature. So what we could do now is we could open up Inkscape. And what we could do is once we have Inkscape open, we have it open like this, we could take this image and we could just click and drag this into Inkscape and click OK and then it'll show up the image will show up here on our screen I'm actually gonna zoom out you could hold control and use the mouse wheel to zoom out and what we'll do what I'll do is I'll go to path I'll go to trace bitmap and I'm gonna click on color quant quantization I think that says click on that one and colors we're gonna drop this all the way down to two and we're gonna click update to see what it looks like in the preview menu Okay, so that's what it looks like. Right now it's a black background with a white foreground. We want it the opposite. We want a white background with a black foreground. So we're going to click Invert and click Update and see what that looks like. Okay, that's good. That's what we want right there. Then we can click OK. And then we can close out of that menu. And we can take our image and we can just click on that and press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And here you will see we now have a vector creation of our signature. As you can see, these have individual nodes, kind of like a vector graphic would. What we could do is we could, we're going to save this as an SVG file. So let's take a look at the width and the height right here. I'm actually going to hold Control and Shift on the keyboard. I'm going to scale this down a lot, and we don't need it that big. And then I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom in. Okay, so we have it about that big. It's about 343 wide by 250 high. So we're going we're gonna to set up our document so that it's 345 by 255. So we'll just go to File, Document Properties, and I'm going to go to 345 for the width, and then 255 for the height, and then press Enter, and then we can close out of that menu. Now we can open up our Align our line and Distribute menu, and from this drop down, make sure you have page selected. And we're just going to align this on the vertical axis and the, hor the horizontal and the vertical axis relative to the page. And then we can go and we can go to File, Save As. We can go to the desktop and save this as signature.svg. And we can click Save. And that is now a vectorized signature that you can use to sign documents. And I'll show you an example of it right now. I'm close out of that menu. 
Let's say a client sends you an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, before starting a project. They send you this file. They have their name and their information filled out. They need you to sign this now before they can hire you to do the job. So what you do is, let's close out of this. Let's go to this, this PDF. Let's say they sent you this. We're going to go to, right-click on this PDF, and we're going to open it with Inkscape. Click OK. And here you'll see is the NDA opened with Inkscape. Now we can go to File, Import, and we'll go to the Desktop, and we'll click on our signature, and then we can just take our vectorized signature, and we can just put this right here. Like let's say the bottom line is what we're required to sign. We can just put that right there, and then we can save this. Save as Sample NDA Signed. Dot, p, uh, dot PDF actually. We're going to save it as a PDF and then go to save, click OK, and then we can close out of that. I'm going to close this without saving. This is just a, an example. And here it is. I'm going to return this back to the client. Sample NDA signed. I'm going to put this at 100%. And here is the, the non disclosure agreement with it signed like that. And you can actually return that to the client. And I think that's a more practical way to go about signing a document for a freelance work, any type, of, any type of freelance work, really. This isn't just for graphic designers. This could be for anybody who does any kind of online contracting work. I think this is a much more practical way of signing documents than actually printing it out and signing it and scanning it back in or faxing it to them. Uh, this is just another way to do that um, digitally. And this signature file, you could take this file and you could save this on file for any time a client sends you a contract or an NDA, you'll have that ready to go. So that's how I go about handling signing contracts. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.